Hi guys. So we found this trail. Well, we had to find this trail. We drove around for an hour looking for a trail that happened to be 15 minutes from where we live. But it's well worth it. <laughs> it's called the Delaware Raritan, Delaware Raritan Trail. Canal yeah. Trail. It's gorgeous. You can't it really doesn't do justice. But um it follows the Delaware River, goes along some like main highways, we cross a couple bridges. And um, I can't imagine how beautiful it is when everything starts blooming and is green again. Um, I have to admit though, I don't know if it's like my app discouraging me, because Dave's app is a whole half mile ahead of mine. So I guess it's just like GPS glitches, but it kept saying my pace was like two minutes longer than his, which makes no sense because we were together the whole time. So I guess like I need to start working on not caring about the numbers and just keep going. Um, uh, just nerve-wracking. Um, <laughs> emotional times. But... <laughs> it's just the half is in two weeks. It's scary, you know, and I know I can do it, but it's just like... I could be hard on myself a lot. But... We're getting through this and we're doing it. And it's not like I'm out of breath. It's not like I can't keep up. It's just like... I know I can do better. I don't know. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing good. Uh, yeah, the runs, the run is, is beautiful out here, and uh, I guess to stem off that, it we can be working harder, and uh, it gets it gets to us when uh, you know. I think that that goes along with anything when something means so much to you, and it's just in the back of your mind. It means so much to it. Maybe put it this way: <clears throat> it means so much to when you have something that means so much to you. Maybe sometimes you're afraid to try as hard as you can because maybe you're afraid that you might fail. And I guess by not getting out there and, and trying and pushing as hard as you can, you know, you may never know. But, you know, this journey on, on getting in the best shape that as we can, you know, it's going to have its peaks and it's going to have its valleys. It's going to have its, its ups, its positives, its negatives. And, uh, you know, things like these we're going to look back on and, and say that, you know, we powered through this stuff, and uh, it's not always easy. It's not. Uh, especially since we're three miles in, and my knees are already talking to me, you know? And we have a half marathon to run in uh, two and a half weeks. So, you know, we're, we, we've, uh, we've made our bed, and now we have to sleep in it. But we have every intention of uh, pulling ourselves out of this rut, and... We're going to do great. I know that. I, I know that that will happen. And that's like half the battle there is knowing that you're capable of doing this. Getting there is the hard part, you know, training for it. So, you know, we're just going to keep trucking along and doing what we do, uh, trying to find new trails because it, this, I think it's the trails and the, and the scenery that really kind of motivate us to kind of keep going. It's like, it's, it's really scenic and it takes your mind off of the hurt and the pain that you could be going through. So we're going to be doing just fine, and uh, this is just one of those days where, you know, it's, it's, it's humbling. And uh, I guess from here on out, we know what we have to do. Next step is just to do it. So hopefully uh, everybody's doing great, and we'll be doing better, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Mm.